Welcome back. Well, we're now less than two years out from the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, but you can already meet some of the biggest contenders in the game. Joining me this morning is uh, silver medalist and pole vaulter Sandy Morris. Thank you so much for being here this morning, Sandy. Of course, I'm really excited. Yeah, so uh, pretty exciting to have you here today. So, uh, so 2016, uh, you won a, won a silver, so going for gold this time, right? Yes, that's correct. I was so close to winning the gold in 2016, and it's kind of Hard to believe that we're already halfway to the next Olympics. You know, you think four years is a long time, but it's already been two. And I feel like that was just yesterday. But I train every single day, and um, two, year, two more years is going to fly right on by, and it'll be my time to step back out there. Yeah, and you know, I mean, we see you know, we get the limelight comes out every four years, but I mean, you guys are hard at work in the, in the, yes. off, in the off time, right? I mean, yes. so it's, I'm sure it's been a lot of work, right? It has, yeah. Um, I mean, every single day training. Every year we have a full season, a full professional circuit that we go mostly overseas to Europe and compete in um, is where the professional track circuit is, track and field. And so we are working every single day and then every four years we just have this thing that the whole world pays attention to called the Olympic Games. And <laughs> so um, I'm just so excited. It's really cool to be a part of something like that. Yeah, and uh, you know, traveling all, all around the world, and so why not Vegas, right? You know, yeah, what better spot? Yeah, so, so uh, it's really exciting to uh, have the platform that we have, and we're using it to really do some community outreach. And that's why we're here in Las Vegas is, um, you know, it's our off seasons, so we're not competing yet, and so we have time to go out in our home country and really spread knowledge about the pole vault. And that's what we're here doing is community outreach um, at local schools and things like that. And so that's what you guys are doing this weekend, right? There's an event at Coronado. What can people expect? They can just come talk yes, to you? Yes, that's and, correct. Uh, you can come meet me in person um, tomorrow between 10 a.m. and noon at Coronado High School. And we're going to be talking to their local club kids and um, sitting down. I mean, to put it in perspective, for the, the kids who are pole vaulters, this is like, like high school uh, kids sitting down with NFL players, you know. So when we show up and the high school pole vaulters see myself and my friend Scott Houston, who is also a USA champion, come walk in the door and come sit down to talk to them. It's, you know, it's really going to inspire them. And I think that um, just the platform that we have is really cool that we can um, introduce the sport to new people, but also inspire the kids who are already pole vaulting. All right. So it's going to be this weekend at Coronado. Hopefully we'll yes. be seeing you on another platform in 2020. Hopefully we'll see you at yes. the top of the top of the medal stand Tokyo for sure. Tokyo 2020. Tokyo 2020 <laughs> starting now. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys after the break.